If I were to ask you what the number one cause of death in livestock is worldwide, what would you guess? The answer? Homunculus contortus, also known as the barber pole worm. A parasite so advanced that it once originated in sub-Saharan African countries and now has adapted to thrive in much colder temperatures as they propagate freely on our coasts of Nova Scotia. This tiny brown worm utilizes a single tooth to hook into the stomach and feed on the blood of livestock animals, including cattle, goats, and sheep. Imagine, a single goat can harbor up to 10,000 worms, collectively consuming 15% of the animal's blood volume each week. This results in severe blood loss and ultimately death of the animal. Now the magnitude of this problem directly impacts so many players from cattle and goat farmers in developed countries to small African tribes who rely on goats for milk and protein for survival. Of course, every tragic story often has a solution. And in this case, the solution comes in the form of anti-parasitic pharmaceutical drugs. These drugs act at targeting protein receptors in the parasites, resulting in their death. Perfect. End of story. Well, not just yet. Most parasites, especially the barber pole worm, are notorious for developing resistance to all current pharmaceuticals, rendering these drugs ineffective. And one of the driving reasons for this high prevalence of resistance is the fact that all current pharmaceuticals target the same type of proteins in the worms. So clearly, there is a serious need for the identification of new drug targets in these parasites. This is exactly where my research comes in. We have identified a new family of drug targets in these parasites that when acted on by various drugs, result in paralysis and death of the worms. Of even more interest, these drug targets are only present in parasitic worms and absent in mammals. Therefore, a drug designed to selectively target these proteins in parasites would have absolutely no effect on the host animal you're administering the drug to. Collectively, this research has the ability to mitigate the parasite resistance problem, potentially save the agricultural industry billions of dollars each year, and allow for cattle and goats to thrive happily in areas of ecological and human importance. I mean, come on, doesn't every goat deserve to be this happy? <laughs>